everyone has heard the old analogy that a ring is round. No beginning and no end. But since you're starting a new family, you deserve a new analogy. A ring is like a hug. As you hug your wife, your arms form a circle. Returning his hug, your arms form a circle. And this creates a double circle. Two has always been stronger than one. A lot of people here, you might not really recognize the man you see before you today. In a lot of ways, that includes myself. In my life, from as far back as I can remember, I've not always been the best at expressing my feelings. I would often <laughs> compartmentalize my emotions when things happen to me in life, so I would oftentimes close myself off to others and try to figure out my own problems on my own. I don't know when this really started in my life, but to a degree I've always kind of felt that no one in my life has ever really known how I really was truly feeling. But despite not being able to identify the closed door when it first shut, I do know when it reopened. Once I was finally able to get you to talk to me, it was our first date that really set you apart from anyone else I'd ever met. Following that first date and for the weeks to follow, I can remember there were many things that made you stand out. Your beauty, your spunk, your bubbly happiness. But overall, it was the ability to make me feel like I could be myself. Some of my fondest memories of our first months together were the nights where I would come over and we would lay down and just talk, and talk for hours with the lights off. I remember talking myself to sleep on many occasions with you, and it was those nights that I finally was able to share the things that I had never had been able to before. <laughs> okay. <sighs> you have from the very beginning always made me happy, the happiest I've ever been, and I hope that I bring you the same happiness. And I always do my best to ensure that your happiness is my main priority of life. On our one year anniversary, you gave me a bunch of cards to have and to open whenever the feelings matched the feeling written on the card. Nearly three years later, I have two cards left and opened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> one being to open when I was mad at you, which has never been necessary to open. One that I've never considered opening was this card right here. And this is the card that says when I'm sad. I know that as long as I have you in my life, this card will never need to be opened. I love you so much, and I will always love you. I will work every day of my life to be the best man, husband, <laughs> and one day, father to the beautiful babies I know we're going to have. 
I always do my best to fix those things that are broken and always support you with whatever decisions you make or paths you travel. I cannot wait to see what wonderful life we will have together and thank God every day that he brought you into my life. And I love you. Yeah. That's it. Oh. With this ring? I promise you. You joined hands, you've exchanged rings, and you made each other promises. So by the power vested in me, I am honored to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your groom. We've been dancing with our eyes from across the room. I've been calculating strategy when to say hello. I've been waiting for my moment. Someone swooped in and stole it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see you over there with your long legs. And I should ask you to dance, but oh, I have my doubts. I've been running lines in my head, trying to play it out. But I was born with two left feet and one foot in my mouth. If the planets align and the stars, they shine just right, I might take you home tonight. So here goes nothing I hope it turns into something I'm standing on this high dive Just about to jump in And that smile's like a lighthouse Guiding me to shore I've been stalling here long enough I can't wait anymore It's a shot in the dark And the odds are stacked Baby, you hit me so hard Like a heart attack So I'm just really thrilled to be here today to celebrate two really lovely people who I love so much and he's our boy and you're a part of that now and I just really love you and I love you and what a lovely evening for two really beautiful people. Good evening, everyone. I'm Trisha, the maid of honor and sister to the bride. I'm going to start by reintroducing the most important people here tonight. We know them. We love them. That's why we're all here. The bartender and the waitstaff. <laughs> Jason, you're one lucky man. Thank you for making my little sister so incredibly happy. It is with great comfort knowing she is with a man like you who is caring, loving, and so supportive of her. Jason is like a brother to me. I've known him for a long time now, 10 years. We hung out and I remember talking to him and he was talking about her like no one else before. And he was just saying, I think this is the one, man. I think this is the one. Jason. Okay. <laughs> Thought I could do it. <laughs> you always hear that today marks the beginning of our journey. But I think our journey started almost four years ago in the middle of Cantina. <laughs> Since that day, I have never taken a single moment with you for granted. I can never express how thankful I am that our paths crossed not once, but twice. I actually gave you the wrong number the first time. <laughs> when 
When I think about our future, I think about a lifetime with not only my best friend, but my protector and the person I want as a role model for our kids. Thank you for choosing me every day and loving me as I am, even when I can't decide what I want to eat for dinner. Jason, I look at these vows as not only promises, but also as privileges. I'm so lucky I get to laugh with you, cry with you, and share all the happiest moments of my life with you. I vow to always support you, listen to you, and never stop loving you as I do today. You are hands down the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I can't wait to build the life that we've always dreamed of together. I love you today, I'll love you forever, and I'm so honored that you chose me to be your wife. You know it's coming from the heart when I say, Jason, don't screw it up, man. <laughs> Courtney, I love you. You're an incredible human being, and you're marrying, or you just married, one of the best human beings I know on this entire planet. So, I love you both, and uh, enjoy the rest of your night. So if you can just raise your glass, and we can cheers. Love, friends, and family, the only things that really matter. We love you, congratulations. So, no, Courtney wants to say something, too, actually. Uh, the bar is over at 9.30, so let's party. <laughs> <laughs> was a December day when me and Courtney uh, went up to Mount Charleston. I knew that I already loved her at that point, and I wanted to kind of make the night special. And for what it was, I wanted to ask her to be my girlfriend, and I was going to bring this bottle of champagne right here and open it and celebrate that moment. And in the moment that I showed it to you, you said, I don't like champagne. And I was like, okay. And so from the first night that you said yes to me into the last night that you said yes to me, I want to drink this with you and uh, commemorate this moment with you because I, uh, I love you so much. <laughs> If you can, just try to think back to the morning you woke up, you got dressed, you had breakfast, you went to work, you went to a pool party, and in walks this person that changes your life forever. Remember that wow feeling when you first saw each other, that wow feeling on your first kiss, the wow feeling when you realize this is your best friend, and that wow feeling when you realize this person is the one. Remember those things. Those are the little stepping stones you used to get here. But guess what? This is not the pinnacle. No. This is only a stepping stone for being in love and being better friends as you grow older. <laughs>